Good morning, everyone, to opening day of San Francisco Better Market Street. It is my great honor to introduce the mayor of San Francisco, Ms. London Breed. Thank you. Mayor Breed. Well, well, well. This has been really a long time coming. Um, there are so many people uh, that made this possible. Uh, you know, we are really excited about what today means. And I know that this will prove very challenging for a lot of people in the city, uh, but our city is changing. Uh, when we think about the past and when Market Street was actually built over 150 years ago, uh, the folks who had the vision for what Market Street could be stood right here at this very area and pointed west towards Twin Peaks with a vision to make Market Street possible to extend to the hills of San Francisco in Twin Peaks and, and look at where we are today. In that time, they made it 120 feet wide, which was large for back then even. Uh, just knowing that Market Street would be a significant street and a significant street for San Francisco and its future. And at that time, of course, over 150 years ago, the population was only 50, a little bit above 50,000 people. And today we have more than 800,000 people in San Francisco. Our city at a time when I was growing up, you didn't see a lot of bicycles. You didn't see a lot of folks who were uh, walking along Market Street other than mostly the downtown area near Fifth and Market. And, and now when you look at how much San Francisco has grown, when you look at how many more uh, buses you see, how many more cars and scooters and, and different modes of transportation and people getting around, we know that there has to be something that changes in order to ensure not only the ability for people to get around more efficiently, but to ensure safety. And, you know, sadly, we've had more than our fair share of collisions that have occurred along Market Street. Uh, and we know that there is a need to do something different. And we've already moved in that direction. Uh, the red bus lanes have been helpful, but it's not enough. Uh, we want to be able to get people to where they need to go in an efficient way but this also is a way to support and protect our environment uh, by increasing the ability to make Muni more reliable, more people will use it. Making trips 25, <laughs> making trips 25% faster will change how people look at Muni. And, and let's be clear, I know that we have a lot of work to do to get to a better place with our public transportation system. It's not just more buses and trains. It's not just more drivers. It's changes to our infrastructure. And that's why this is so important. And that's why so many people advocated for a car-free Market Street. Because they knew that as the population increases, as the economy increases with the number of job opportunities, we need to make sure along with more housing that we need to build that we have a reliable transportation system to get people around and we make significant changes that may make people uncomfortable to our infrastructure in order to improve the reliability of our system. So that's why we are here today and I want to really take this opportunity um, to thank someone who is no longer on the Board of Supervisors but was really an advocate and pusher for this project, and that is our current assembly member, David Chu. Um, I remember when I first became a member of the Board of Supervisors, and I'll tell you, David Chu was uh, the president of the board. He came to talk to me about closing Market Street, and I was like, are you crazy? And it's so funny because over the years and just learning more about it and looking at the changes and what we need to do for the city, you know, I basically agreed that this is something we needed to do and I wanted to make this happen as mayor. And so I'm really proud to be here today and I really want to thank Assembly Member Chu for his advocacy. I also want to thank State Senator Scott Weiner for his advocacy around transportation and finding new alternatives to pay for public transportation systems. I really, really want to thank 
a number of organizations who have been in the forefront of helping to facilitate the conversations around the closure of Market Streets to vehicles. And that starts with Walk SF. Thank you to Walk San Francisco. Thank you to the San Francisco Bicycle Coalition. And thank you to Market Street Railway, which actually has a great museum right just down there. And it does take not only uh, people who are a part of the community to help make this happen, it takes a city village. And I want to thank the San Francisco MTA for their leadership and their guidance and the work that they're doing. Really excited about uh, Jeff Tumlin and the work that he is going to continue to do to lead this great organization. Thank you to the PUC department, the planning department, Public Works, the County Transportation Authority, and the Office of Economic and Workforce Development. Um, so many great folks who really are going to be at the forefront of helping to make this possible. And I also would like to give a shout out to the San Francisco Police Department because the work that they are going to do around enforcement to ensure that as we make limits on vehicles in Market Street that we have enforcement so that we can make sure that we're communicating and making people aware, but we also know that having a tool to enforce what we know needs to be a car-free market street is gonna take some work. And the police department is gonna be an important part of that work. So today, as we extend uh, over two miles of car-free market street, um, I'm looking forward to seeing the results of what this does for San Francisco. We talk about a goal of Vision Zero, and we've been talking about it for so many years, yet, you know, what's been happening with the number of fatalities on our streets, it just looks like we're never going to get there. And I think that this is a step towards getting there and helping us to realize those goals of keeping people safe and ensuring that no one, because they are traveling and trying to get around the city to and from work, um, is at risk. And this is just really an incredible step forward. This is so significant, so great. We all know it. That's why we're all here. And I just want to thank everyone for their support and their advocacy um, and their patience uh, as we move through this process. Because you know if you do anything with the city, it does take patience. Um, but here we are, and today we celebrate, we enjoy, and we look forward to really transforming San Francisco and making Market Street one of the safest corridors in our city. Thank you all so much. Good morning again. My name is Jeffrey Tumlin. I'm the head of the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency, and I am overjoyed to be here this morning. May I please have another round of applause, both for our mayor, for her stalwart support of this amazing project, but also for Byron Cobb, eight-time bell-ringing champion of the San Francisco Cable Car Division. Thank you. So as the mayor said, uh, Car-Free Market Street has been a very long time in coming. We've been talking about this for over 60 years. Our, our success today would not be possible without broad support from our regional leaders, a whole lot of city, city staff who worked on this project, and our Board of Supervisors members who understood the importance of advancing our Vision Zero goal and, and designing a market street that was about moving people, not just moving vehicles. Um, Supervisor uh, Matt Haney, from the onset, has been one of our best, staunchest, most fearless supporters of safer streets across the city, uh, and particularly in his district. May I please introduce Supervisor Matt Haney. Thank you, Jeff. Um, well, first, let me congratulate you. I think this has been, what, a month for you? <laughs> it's been one month, and he already got Market Street done. Uh, give it a hand, hand for Jeff. Um, uh, no, thank you for your leadership, and I'm so excited about what's going to come next under your leadership at the MTA. I want to thank uh, Mayor Breed uh, for her leadership um, and her for her championing this this project. Um, I, you know, first of all, this is an exciting day. Um, finally, we are putting people first on our most important uh, thoroughfare here in San Francisco. 
Um, there are over 500,000 people that walk on Market Street every day. There are over 6,000 people that ride their bikes on Market Street every day. And there are thousands and thousands of people that ride Muni. And finally, we are going to be designing this street for them. We are here to celebrate the culmination of decades of advocacy and planning to make Market Street a street for the people of San Francisco. Today marks the beginning of a historic transformation of the main corridor of our city into a safe, inviting place to walk, bike, and take transit. Market Street is not only one of our most important corridors, it is also one of our city's most dangerous. No one should have to live in fear of their lives because of preventable traffic collisions, especially in the heart of our city. And the only way we will achieve Vision Zero is by urgently bringing radical street safety improvements and being unapologetic about our commitment to street safety. A car-free market street will also pave the way for future car-free spaces across our city. I'm hopeful that we'll be looking at other places in District 6, including in the Tenderloin, where we have dangerous and sometimes deadly uh, collisions for school children, seniors, and others. The complete transformation of Market Street will redefine our downtown. It will bring new activation to a street that has long been overlooked. I'm excited about what this will mean for the residents and businesses of District 6 um, who will be able to come to this street and benefit not just from the improvements for how we get around here, but you will see a revitalized, dynamic, inviting space for everyone in our city. Again, I want to thank the SFMTA and Mayor Breed, uh, the Department of Public Works, the Bike Coalition, and Walk SF. I also want to recognize the Transportation Authority, um, where I, I sit as a member who contributed funds to the Quick Build program, and the countless people who worked for years, the Citizens Advisory Committee, um, who made this possible. Um, thank you all so much for being here. This is only the beginning. Government agencies throughout California faced difficult budget challenges, including structural budget deficits that are built into the system here. Um, making projects like this happen would not be possible without an SFMTA board of directors ready to make the really tough choices about how we allocate our budget, to what degree do we raise revenue or reduce revenue in order to achieve our service goals. Um, I am incredibly proud to serve an agency board that is both visionary and practical and holds my agency accountable. And I am pleased to introduce the chair of that board, Malcolm Heineke. Malcolm. Well, greetings, everyone. Thank you, Mayor Breed, and congratulations, Mayor Breed. Um, congratulations to really all of my fellow San Franciscans on this glorious and historic day. I do want to thank some people, as others are doing. I want to thank Mayors Newsom and Lee for their leadership on this and for the fact that they gave me the responsibility that I have now. I want to thank Jeff Tumlin for his leadership and Ed Riskin, who came before him. And I want to thank my fellow board members, a few of whom are here today, Directors Borden, Brinkman, and Eakin for all they've done. We are here to celebrate this project which is called Better Market Street. As I have said before, that is the wrong adjective. This is a magnificent Market Street. This is gonna be, yeah, let's cheer that adjective. It's a good one. It's gonna be magnificent for transit, for pedestrians, for cyclists, for equity, for the environment, for visitors, for businesses, for everything that makes San Francisco so special. It will not be long before Broadway is referred to as the Market Street of Manhattan. <laughs> for transit, our buses and trains will move 15 to 25 percent faster on this corridor. Bus riders will enjoy the same right-of-way preference that I enjoy on my subway ride in the morning. This will be the above-ground subway. For pedestrians and cyclists, we will address one of the most dangerous corridors in our city and not only solve these safety issues, but make this a destination for walking and cycling. This is indeed an exciting time. Now, I do want to clarify one important policy thing. 
And I don't want to be the Dusty Baker who hands the ball to Russ Ortiz, so I'll keep this in vague terms. But this ban on cars on Market Street will not apply to parades. For example, a parade on behalf of a sports team that happens to be super, super, and we're going to stop there. All right. She has slapped me down before. I think that was the first time in front of a bunch of cameras. Um, anyway, back to the topic at hand. This is a glorious day and a great project that will be magnificent for me personally. It's a real uh, sort of culmination of my time as SFMTA board member. As some know, I started this all when my son was born. He is now 13, so here we are, and we're getting it done. My final point is this. Let's not wait another decade or 13 years to do this again. Yesterday, I called for our staff to look at a project like this for Valencia Street. You heard... You heard Supervisor Haney, who has been such a leader on this issue, talk about doing this in his district, Leavenworth Street, perhaps another street. Folks, this is going to be magnificent. Let's not wait. Let's do it again. Onward. Doing this work has required deep engagement with the community. Uh, and some of you may not realize that some of the greatest concentration of families with children living in San Francisco live adjacent to Market Street in the Tenderloin and South of Market in the Civic Center areas. This stretch of Market Street is also home to five of the top 10 highest injury intersections in all of San Francisco. We could not have done this project without the support of a broad array of community organizers who've helped us at every step of the way. And among those, I would like to introduce Jody Medeiros of Walk San Francisco. Jody. Thank you, Director Tomlin. <clears throat> I am Jody Medeiros, the Executive Director of Walk San Francisco, and we do advocate on behalf of everyone who walks. I stand here today one of the half million people who walk on Market Street every day. For so long, we know that this street has been one of the most dangerous streets for people. And today, it's very historic and exciting because that is about to change. I'm here to say thank you to so many of the partners and particularly the city's leaders that we have seen and heard today and all of the city agencies and the employees who have really made this longtime dream of a car-free Market Street come true. Thank you. Thank you for adding San Francisco to the, list, <coughs> to the list of leading cities around the world who have adopted car-free spaces. Thank you for showing that San Francisco is really ready to take bold action for our city's future and for the planet. Most of all, thank you for putting safety of people first on San Francisco's main thoroughfare. In 2019, Oslo, Norway, zero people were hit and killed in traffic crashes, zero. A huge reason for that is that they have taken bold strides to putting car-free spaces and um, <clears throat> reducing traffic in our downtown corridor. And that is exactly what Market Street is about to do. We invite our city's leaders to take more action, bold strides, Valencia Street, JFK, Embarcadero, let's think big and bold on where we can put more car-free spaces in our city, all the way to Vision Zero. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jody. As San Francisco grows, our streets are not getting any wider. And our challenge is a simple math challenge of how do we manage our existing streets in order to move more people. Uh, I'm not a better person when I ride my bike on Market Street than when I drive, but I take up less than one-tenth of the space. And I believe this morning from my own informal counts that Market Street has moved more people this morning than it has on any normal weekday since the middle of the 20th century. I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll need to verify that. <laughs> But those were my counts this morning. More importantly, as I was riding my bike up Market Street this morning, something struck me that was utterly extraordinary. Not only was the ride more pleasant, but I struck up five conversations on the street, in the street, on my bike, with people I wouldn't have otherwise been able to interact with because I would have been afraid of being pushed out of the way by an Uber driver. 
The changes to Market Street in San Francisco, I think, will not only allow us to move more people, but change the civility of San Francisco. And this work um, also would not have been possible with another one of our key community-based organizations, the San Francisco Bicycle Coalition. May I please welcome uh, Brian Wiedemeyer. Thank you so much, Director Tumlin. It is a beautiful day to ride a bicycle on Market Street today. Yes. I want to begin by extending sincere gratitude and appreciation to Mayor London Breed. Your leadership has helped make this possible, and this decision and future decisions like it are going to help save lives in our city. So thank you. And thank you to Supervisor Haney as well for representing your district, where I happen to live and bike daily, um, and supporting this change and, and many other safety improvements throughout your district. Director Tumlin and the staff at the SFMTA, I know you are all working so hard to pull this off, biking down Market Street here to this rally, seeing all the parking control officers out there doing fantastic work. They have tough jobs, so say thank you to them if you see them. And finally, I want to thank our members of the San Francisco Bicycle Coalition, who for decades, decades literally, have been fighting to see this day come to pass. Yes. Today marks the start of a new era for Market Street as we celebrate the creation of San Francisco's newest and largest car-free space. And by creating that space right here in our signature thoroughfare, San Francisco is sending a message that improving safety for people biking and walking, improving transit reliability, and reducing private automobile trips is at the heart of achieving Vision Zero, as well as our climate goals. And from today forward, it will be at the heart of our city. Our members have advocated for years to see this day come, and now cities across the country and perhaps around the world will be looking to San Francisco to see what's possible. And we will lead the way with the further physical transformation of Market Street, which we expect to break ground sometime this year. This leadership doesn't have to stop at Market Street, as you've heard. From the Embarcadero, right behind everyone, to JFK Drive and Golden Gate Park and Valencia Street, to streets throughout the Tenderloin, we as a city can continue to demonstrate bold, quick action when it comes to improving safety and encouraging more people to ride a bicycle. We can use Market Street as the template for the transformation of streets across our city. So I look forward to the day when every neighborhood in our beautiful city enjoys safe, accessible, and livable streets. For now, however, I'm excited to get on my bike and ride, and I invite you all to come pedal with me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. Uh, as I was out this morning and talking with our bus operators and our rail operators and our parking control officers, all of our crews are so excited to see this change, a change uh, that will make it easier for all San Franciscans to get around. Uh, it will also make it easier for our glorious historic streetcars uh, to uh, be able to continue to not only serve critical mobility needs, but to delight uh, people from all over the world and also people like me who are a big personal fan and while I rode my bike up here today I'm hoping that am I gonna be able to take boat tram I love boat tram uh, so uh, I owe a debt of gratitude uh, to the head of Market Street Railway uh, mr. Rick Laubscher Rick please madam mayor director Tumlin Supervisor Haney, uh, Director McGuire, who had a lot to do with this, and all of the officials, thank you very much for your leadership and your persistence. As the mayor says, it takes patience in San Francisco, but we're being rewarded today. Uh, more than a century and a half ago, rail transit came to Market Street for the first time in the form of a steam train, and then it was a horse car, and then cable cars, and since 1906, electric streetcars. I was born after 1906, but not by a whole lot, and I grew up on Market Street uh, in my family's delicatessen at Market and Grant, and I can tell you in six decades and more of experience on Market, this is going to be the best Market Street of my lifetime, and thank you all for making it happen. We are very proud to help keep the past present for the future of Market Street through our nonprofit, which is Muni's Nonprofit Preservation Partner. Starting today, the streetcars and the buses will get riders to their destinations faster. They'll make it safer. 
for bicyclists, pedestrians, and scooter users too. We're proud to have been longtime advocates for the Better Market Street, and we congratulate everybody. Thank you. Please join me in one final round of applause for the staff people who made this work possible, uh, most particularly the director of Sustainable Streets, Tom McGuire, um, who was interim director and was actually responsible for making much of this work happen, along with director of transit, Julie Kirschbaum, uh, and all of the staff people in parking control, in sign shop, in the paint shop, the folks at DPW and PUC and the police department, all of whom came together incredibly rapidly to make this happen. Thank them all. They are the ones who've done the, the real work. And meanwhile, uh, I want to thank all of you for joining us to celebrate a truly better Market Street. And now we get to cut a ribbon. I'm so excited about this part. Please join us. Thank you. Hey, where's your <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Bye.